A very good morning children. Uh, in today's class of economic application, we shall take an important topic. But before that, let's take a quick uh, recapitulation of what we studied in the last class. Well, in the last class, we, uh, the lesson that we, are we have taken up is the central problems of economy, where we study about uh, the problems of the economy, that is what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. And well, and today's uh, topic is uh, production possibility curve. Okay, see, uh, before we go on to discuss what is a pro production possibility curve, let's try to understand uh, how this concept evolved then. Okay, see, the production possibility curve is a concept, uh, you know, uh, which was uh, evolved in order to explain the, you know, the basic problem of an economy. Okay, uh, that arises due to what? The basic problem of an economy that arises due to the scarcity of resources. Now, what is the basic problem of an economy then? Well, the basic problem of an economy is what? Is the utilization of limited resources to get maximum satisfaction of your want. Okay, so uh, uh, with this context, with reference to this, what is a uh, uh, production possibility curve then? Well, let's see the definition first. The production possibility curve is a curve uh, which shows all the possible combination of two products that can be produced uh, by making full utilization of the resources and technology in an economy. Now, what does this mean then? Well, see. Uh, due to the scarcity of resources, uh, you know, you cannot uh, produce all the product at a time, isn't it? In order to increase, you know, in order to produce, in order to produce uh, more of one product, you have to what? Sacrifice or reduce the production of another product, isn't it? So here you have to understand that, you know, uh, in order to, you know, the increase, the increase in the production of one product will lead to the what reduction or reduce or reduction in the production of another product understood so see th this is uh, this is what uh, the production uh, you know the possibility curve is all about so this particular concept can also be uh, you know explained in the form of a diagram uh, using uh, pps that is what production possibility schedule and ppc that is a production possibility uh, curve. All right. Uh, now let us see what is PPS that is for production possibility schedule and PPC is production possibility uh, curve. Okay. So with the help of this diagram, I'm going to uh, you know help you uh, understand more what is uh, production possibility curve is. Uh, well, uh, so this is your production possibility schedule and this is your production possibility curve. Okay. Now, what is a PPS, a production possibility schedule then? Well, it's a table that shows a production possibility of two commodities. Okay. Here we have taken two commodities that is a rice and a sugar. Okay. In goods uh, X, we have placed rice and in goods Y, we have placed sugar. Okay. Now, according to, you know, uh, in first possibility A, okay, according to possibility A, you know, if you invest all the or if you allocate all the resources in the production of sugar, then what happened? You produce your production of sugar will be 15 units. Okay, since you have invested all the, you know, uh, resources or allocated all the resources in the production of sugar, what happened? The production of rice will be zero because you have not allocated any resources here okay now uh, similarly you know similarly combination similarly combination b combination b shows that if you reduce you know if you reduce uh, a little bit of your production in your sugar and uh, set aside a little fund or you know allocate a little fund in the production of rice then what happens the production of rice will increase from 0 to 1 whereas the production of sugar will reduce from 15 to 14 units okay now the combination C production possibility combination C shows that if you reduce 
uh, you know reduce the resources allocation of uh, allocation of resources if you re reduce a little more in the production of sugar say from 14 to 12 then what will happen the production of rice will increase to say for two units so similarly you know if you go on reducing go on reducing the amount of resources uh, you know in the in this goods why that is in the production of sugar then what happens ultimately what happens the production of rice will rise okay so finally if there is you know finally if you do not want to produce any sugar say the entire uh, you know resources you allocate in the production of rice then what happens the production of sugar will be zero and the production of rice will increase to five units okay so what did we see here what did what did we observe in this uh, you know uh, schedule then we observed that the increase in the production the increase in the production of one product will leads to what decrease in the production of another product isn't it right all this schedule which we saw according to all this uh, you know a combination what did we see what did we observe in this table we saw that the increase in the production of one product will lead to the decrease in the production of another product right so this is your you know uh, sorry this is your production possibility schedule now uh, you know so we so we saw this is the what this is the uh, production possibility schedule all right now we will see its graphical representation here in the form of graph the same uh, figures we're going to see in the form of graph here okay see this is your y-axis uh, this is your x-axis okay in y-axis we are going to see what the production of sugar all right and in the uh, y-x sorry in x-axis we'll see the uh, production of rice okay now see Suppose, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, as I said in uh, the schedule also, if you allocate the entire resources in the production of, uh, you know, sugar, then what will happen? What will happen? The production of rice will be zero. There will be no production. Why? Because you have allocated the entire resources for the production of sugar, isn't it? So, you, you know, you, you are producing 15 units of sugar, for example, okay? Since you are not allocating any resources in, for the production of rice, therefore, your production will be zero, okay? So, here, we have put a point here. So, this is the... Uh, you know this is the combination of a this is the combination of a did you see here the combination of a we have put here so we form a dot point here this is your point combination a's point is here we put a dot here okay now but if you reduce the you know if you a uh, little bit if you reduce a little production of sugar and allocate a little fund in the production of rice then what will happen your production of sugar will fall to reduce to 14 units here did you see here 14 units these are all assumption okay uh, it will fall to 14 units but what happens to the production of rice then the production of rice will rise to one unit okay so here 14 and this one when we join we reach here and this is the point so this is the point that has been formed from combination B okay now according to combination C here okay if you reduce a little more a little more you know of uh, uh, fund allocation or a resource allocation whatever then what happens if you reduce more then the production of sugar will go down no doubt but what happens the production of rice will go up right rice will go up here so it will come down the production of sugar will come down to 12 but the production of what rice will increase to two unit so when you join this you get a point here did you see that production uh, sorry this is your combination uh, c okay now according to possibility d according to the possibility d okay uh, same thing you know the production here we have the production sugar is nine you have reduced it to nine okay but the production of sugar uh, rice 
has gone up so when you join this it has really it has increased a tremendous amount isn't it comparatively so what happens the uh, according to this combination d the point is here when you reach this and when you come up here here you form the point here so this is the point of combination d similarly when the production of rice is reduced sorry when the production of sugar is reduced right to 5 down there 5 year what happens to the production of rice it will increase obviously the production of sugar has fallen so that will lead to the increase in the production of rice so according to your possibility e the point is here all right now if you say that no we are not going to invest any money or any uh, resources in the production of sugar so we will not produce uh, uh, any sugar the entire fund will be diverted to the production of rice you say then what will happen the production of sugar will be zero but the production of rice will increase to five units so according to uh, possibility f your point is here all right so this is your graphical representation then what happens is that you know when you join all this point that has been formed with all this combination this all this points that you see here has been formed with all this combination when you join all this together you form a curve so this is your curve here and what is this this is your production possibility curve okay right so what did we notice here you know we saw uh, we saw this uh, schedule then we saw this curve what did we notice here we notice that the continuous sacrifice of can you, can you see this sugar uh, sugar uh, table okay let's see in the schedule can you see this schedule here the sugars column what did what are we noticing here we notice there is a continuous what sacrifice in the production of sugar isn't it continuous sacrifice in the production of sugar so when there is a continuous sacrifice in the you know production of sugar there was what 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 was there there was a continuous increase in the production of rice isn't it with the help of this schedule and uh, uh, you know uh, graph what did we see that the continuous sacrifice in the production of sugar has led to the increase in the production of rice okay so we saw that the continuous you know sacrifice in the production of one commodity leads to the increase in production of another commodity okay and uh, uh, you know the this concept that is uh, the ppc that is the production possibility uh, curve is also known as production possibility frontier all right now one important question arises why does the ppc always slopes downward well the production possibility curve always slopes downwards from left to right because in order to increase in the production of one commodity we have to sacrifice the uh, production of uh, another commodity okay that's why the slope the uh, always slopes down with the curve rather the ppc that is the uh, production possibility curve always slopes downwards from left to right okay right so uh, this uh, entire concept that we discussed right now uh, together is what it's a production possibility Okay, so, well, that's all for today and uh, uh, please uh, stay connected and uh, check your uh, text related to this topic. If you have any questions uh, or uh, doubts or any queries, you can always WhatsApp me in the number that has been provided. Till then, stay connected and stay safe. Okay.